Yo, what's going on everybody? Trent's Tech here and today we're going to be talking about a case that I picked up for my M1 iPad Pro and this is the spec folio case and as you guys can see here it actually has the little spec symbol there but I was looking for a case and I went on apple.com and of course they're selling their smart folio case for a hundred dollars and to be honest I really didn't want to spend a hundred dollars after spending the money that I spent on this tablet now I took the case out of the box and pretty much this is the unboxing experience as you guys can see here so basically you get your you know paper box you can just pull this right out but as you start to pull it out there is like a little you know security tag or retaining clip I don't know what you guys want to call it plastic or whatever but you're just gonna have to break that and then this comes straight out and you can actually break it without damaging the box so for whatever reason if you had to return the case you can pretty much take it out pretty easily and pretty much when you get this case outside of the box you can see easily here that pretty much this is how the case is going to look in on the inside of the case as you can see you do have your nice felt material you also do have little indents to where the, uh, the tablet can sit up on itself and the other cool thing is you have this nice soft material and you have a hard plastic shell so that, that should help reduce the impact of any drops or you know anything hitting the back of this that way you don't damage the iPad but it also has some flexibility and somewhat of a rigid shape to it so that's pretty cool like as soon as you put your tablet in here it's gonna go ahead and lock it in there and clasp it in there and it's gonna hold on to it so you don't have to worry about it obviously there's no you know smart connector on here so you're not really gonna you know do anything crazy with it but it is a folio case designed to protect the iPad. Now, the cool thing about this is it has a nice material, so it doesn't get real slippery. I'm still gonna have to test this to see if there's like any sort of stains that you'll get from your fingers on the back of this. But overall, it does look like a really nice case for approximately $50. And as you guys can see here, you guys do have a clip that you can clip this on and you can hold it closed. That way you don't have to worry about this uh, flipping open. The other thing that's cool about this, and I tested it, is that you can put the iPad inside of the case and as soon as you close the case, it will automatically shut off. And then when you open the case, it will automatically turn on. So if we go ahead and we just take our iPad here we can easily stick it inside here. And for those of you who are worried about the fit, the fit is actually pretty good. There was something that came out a while back talking about how the iPad uh, 2021 M1 was a little bit thicker and it wouldn't fit some of the cases. But as you guys can see here, everything fits. It's inside of here perfectly. I will go ahead and open this up and show it to you and everything on here is good to go there's nothing really overlapping or nothing really messing with it also you can put a screen protector on here and the case will not interfere with this at all so you will be pretty much good to go and so far as far as the buttons i can easily reach the power button that's not an issue i can easily reach the volume buttons that's not an issue also USB-C port on the bottom is easy to access now the other thing about this is that this gap right here is actually wide enough to where you can fit almost any adapter on there so a lot of USB-C chargers or sometimes the adapters or the dongles they may not be the smallest or the thinnest some of them might be actually a little bit thicker or a little bit bigger but you actually have a good amount of space in here to fit most of them so you shouldn't have to worry about that also you do have your cutouts for all of the speakers and you have sound that come out of all four speakers now it doesn't exactly completely line up all the way but you're you're only blocking maybe like one speaker hole on here it's not even that bad and the interesting part about this is 
the way that they have just a little piece of plastic over this part. So I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's see. But um, yeah, there's that little plastic piece right there for some reason. But down here, there's no extra plastic piece. I don't understand that. And it's pretty much the same way down here. There's a little plastic piece there, but there's not one down here. Shouldn't affect anything as far as the sound or anything like that. Now the gray color on here is a nice touch. It does look nice and it's pretty cool. So it's something that will pretty much blend in if you do have a space gray iPad. Now, the thing that you might be questioning is, well, why can't I see the camera? Well, the good thing is Spec has already thought about that. And to help protect the camera, they have this part that just flips open. So as you guys can see here, this closes and it flips open and it protects your camera. So you could technically still use this in the portrait mode. And let's say you have this flipped open and you want to take a picture, you can still do it that way and not have this exposed because a lot of cases will have the cutout to where it's exposed. And then some people will worry about the camera. Now this part down here is magnetic. So it has a nice little click to it. And you really, you really don't have to worry about it that much. Now it does get a little bit weird because let's say if you were to take a photo, you don't have to hold this, but essentially you're either taking your photo this way or you can let it hang and you can take your photo or you can somewhat bend this up and then, you know, kind of take the photo like this or bend it inwards and kind of take it like that. I mean, who's really taking photos on an iPad, but it's just something I had to show you as far as, you know, how weird or crazy this thing can get. Now, the other thing we can show here is how well this case stands up on its own. So the first indent that you're gonna be able to set it up on, and this is really gonna put it at the highest viewing angle. So if we have it set here, this is pretty much, you know, if this will turn on, this is pretty much how it's gonna look from this angle with it sitting up like this. So you pretty much get a good idea of how far it's gonna lean back if that's completely straight. And then obviously you can take it and you can move it down each one of these little indents to lay it further and further back. And so that's about the furthest back it goes. That's almost at a 45 degree angle. I think that's about 30. So that kind of helps if you're looking at this on a desktop or on a flat surface. And then of course you do have your area that you can essentially stick your Apple Pencil in and it will clip in right there. And honestly, that is pretty much it for the case. I like it so far. I've only had it just for today. And so far I like it. Now, obviously when it comes to drop protection, I'm not gonna drop this thing on camera. Like I'm not gonna risk this, I'm sorry. But the cool thing is you do have the plastic here and the plastic that runs along here should help with some of the drop protection. But essentially you have more drop protection on the sides because there's a further distance between the outside of the material and whatever could come in contact with the iPad itself. So that's pretty much it for this overall. I guess you can call this a review or a first look, but for $52, that's not bad. So one thing I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and put a link in the description box down below. And it's basically gonna be a link to the Amazon store to where you can purchase this because you may not be able to find this at Best Buy on sale where you're at. This was just on sale where I live. So it may cost more, it may be a little bit cheaper, but this is where you can pretty much you know pick this up. But as far as, like I said, the way it feels, the build quality and the way it looks, I like it. And what I will do is I will do a follow-up video probably about two to three weeks from now and let you guys know how it feels over a longer period of use and how everything comes out. So, but yeah, this is my 
iPad Pro accessory. If you guys like the content, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next video. All right, you guys take it easy. Peace.